If you are fascinated by the legend of Bigfoot, then there's a story out there that beats all stories. That's the lesser-known cryptid encounter with the famous frontier man Daniel Boone. Hey guys, welcome back to the Anything History channel, where we journey into the depths of time to uncover the mysteries and legends that have shaped our world. From the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia to the uncharted wilderness of the American frontier, join us as we explore the unknown and delve into the stories that have captivated humanity for generations. In the rugged wilderness of early America, one man's name echoed through the forests and across the mountains like a legend carved into the very landscape itself. His name was Daniel Boone, a pioneer, explorer, and folk hero whose exploits would become the stuff of legend. Born on November 2, 1734, in a log cabin near the present-day city of Reading, Pennsylvania, Daniel Boone was raised in the untamed wilderness of colonial America. As he grew older, Boone's thirst for adventure only intensified, driving him to seek out new frontiers beyond the reaches of civilization. In 1769, he embarked on one of his most famous expeditions, leading a small party of fellow frontiersmen through the uncharted wilderness of Kentucky, a land teeming with untold riches and untamed wilderness. It was during this fateful journey that Boone would reportedly have his legendary encounter with a creature that would come to be known as Bigfoot. As the story goes, Boone and his companions were camped along the banks of the Kentucky River one night when they were startled by a series of bone-chilling howls echoing through the darkness. At first, it was nothing more than a distant howl, faint and mournful, echoing through the trees like the wail of a lost soul. But as the night wore on, the howls grew closer, more insistent. Thinking it might be wolves or other predators, Boone and his men cautiously ventured into the woods to investigate, their rifles at the ready. With weapons in hand and hearts filled with dread, Boone and his men ventured into the darkness, their footsteps echoing hollowly against the forest floor. What they encountered in those haunted woods defied all rational explanation. A creature of nightmares, towering over them like a specter from the depths of hell itself. Its eyes burned with a malevolent light, glowing like coals in the darkness, as it loomed over them with a primal fury that chilled them to the bone. One of his men panicked and fired at the creature, but missed. The creature went into a craze and grabbed one of the men. They all freaked out and started shooting, but Daniel Boone took special aim at the monster's chest. He pulled the trigger and hit the wild creature. The creature let out a loud wail and everyone stood frozen, not knowing what to expect. In a state of shock and disbelief, Boone and his companions watched in awe as the creature lumbered through the underbrush, disappearing into the depths of the forest as quickly as it had appeared. It left a trail of blood, but the men were cautious and afraid to follow. Now the loud howls died down, and that's when the men went in pursuit, assuming the creature had fallen down dead somewhere in the brush. Daniel and his men searched for hours, but never found a body but they did see that the blood trails and footprints ended at the shore of a creek in the woods. Their lanterns were now dimming and they were far from their campsite, and out of fear of what might happen next, the men turned around and headed back to camp where they remained on guard for the rest of the time there. They were rattled and paranoid. One man was severely injured, and they had no answers to what they encountered. They would stay alert and on guard until they left the area for good. Although shaken by the encounter, Boone was undeterred in his quest to explore the wilderness, his legendary status only growing with each passing tale of his exploits. This was a Bigfoot, but back then that name was yet to be coined. Either way, Boone claimed to have killed a 10-foot hairy giant with light-colored fur. He called it a Yahoo, a name he borrowed from the famous Gulliver's Travel story, which he loved, and featured creatures called Yahoos. These were said to be giant beasts in human shape. And eventually that creature became what we know him as today, Bigfoot. Daniel Boone told his story of killing a Yahoo many times, especially during the last year of his life. Almost as if he was no longer afraid of any ridicule he might receive from its telling. Now, this Bigfoot story has been told in many different ways. There's even a version with Daniel Boone killing the beast to protect his son. But some skeptics dismiss Boone's encounter with Bigfoot as nothing more than a tall tale, spun from the depths of the frontier imagination. 
Yet to those who knew Daniel best, he would never inflate his bravery by making up a story. It was just another chapter in the larger-than-life saga of a man whose indomitable spirit and unyielding determination would leave an indelible mark on the history of the American West. Daniel Boone was a famous pioneer and explorer who helped settle what we now call Kentucky before his death in 1820. But he will also be known as the first man who claimed to have killed a real Bigfoot, if the record is true. Do you believe Boone saw, shot, and killed a Bigfoot? Well, it sounds like he shot, something. We probably know for sure, if there was such a thing as the internet back then. Anyway, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and come back for more fascinating history.